What's up guys? Today we'll be checking out the Sennheiser RS195 wireless digital TV headphones. So these headphones are meant to be plugged into your television set for some private listening. But before we get them hooked up, let's see what's in the box. Here we have some manuals. These are a few foreign adapters. A 3.5 millimeter cable, an optical cable, rechargeable batteries, and the power adapter. This guy here is the transmitter slash charger. It's what your TV is gonna plug into. Taking a closer look, you'll see the charge indicator. This button here is the mode slash volume level. It works in conjunction with the hearing profile selector knob, which we'll go over in a bit. Here's the balance control, and on the bottom is the status LED. Around back is the optical input. This little switch here is the input selector for either optical or the analog in. And on the bottom is where you'll plug in the power adapter. Up top are the charging pins that'll recharge the headphones. Moving over to the headphones, you have the power button on the bottom. End buttons for mode, volume up down are on the right ear cup. On the left side, you'll find nothing except a smooth rubbery finish. The headband extends pretty long, so it should fit a fairly large head. The band is a full leathery vinyl material, and there is a couple soft pads on the bottom here. Between the pads, you'll find the charging connectors. To charge it, all you have to do is place the headphones on top of the transmitter until the light turns green. Per the manual, it should take about eight and a half hours to fully charge. All right, let's get this set up on my TV. First thing you'll have to do is twist the ear pads off and put a battery in each one. As mentioned before, it should take about eight and a half hours to fully charge and last between 14 to 18 hours. My TV will connect to the transmitter using the optical cable, so you have to be sure the switch is in the top position. If your TV only has the 3.5 millimeter headphone type of output, then you're gonna have to use this cable here. Now keep in mind, these don't have to connect just to a TV set. As long as you have an optical digital or a 3.5 millimeter output on whatever you're using, you can plug it into the back of the transmitter. So things like your computer or cell phone can plug into this too. Okay, now that we're connected and the batteries are charged up, once you lift the headphones off the charger, the LED indicator should turn green. If not, you'll have to hold down the power button for like two seconds till the light comes on. Now that you've got sound coming out, there's a couple options you can do to tailor the sound to your liking. By turning the knob from A to G, this works basically like a tone control. If the knob is all the way to the left, you'll get the most amount of bass. Turn the knob all the way to the right, and it'll take all the bass away. Now, if you tap the mode button and the LED is on the left side, that'll put an emphasis on dialogue, but it'll make the sound a bit hollow. Zone two pre -out. Next to those are unbalanced pre -outs. If we press the mode button again and the LED is on the right, that'll make the sound bigger, almost like a 3D effect. This sounds good for music. Nine channels. If you want to run an extra set of height speakers, there's pre -outs for those as well. If you press the button again and the LED is in the center, this will make the sound more balanced. There's coax and optical ins, and for video, there are five HDMI 2.0 inputs and two outputs. Now, depending on whatever mode you prefer, you can adjust it further by turning the dial. So, more bass to the left or more treble to the right. As far as sound quality, I don't think you're going to confuse these for a pair of high-end headphones. I think the sound is good for a pair of headphones that are probably going to live next to your TV, but for the critical listener, these are not gonna be for you. And I don't think anyone is buying these for that purpose. Comfort-wise, they fit snugly over my ears and the band was just the right amount of tightness. They shouldn't fall off unless you're really trying to shake them off. They block out a really good amount of background noise and they keep sound in, so there's very little sound leakage. Overall, I think they sound good and I only noticed dropouts if I went too far away from the transmitter. If you need some good quality headphones for some late night TV watching, 
or maybe you don't want to disturb your significant other, or maybe you've got some hearing issues and can't turn up the TV too loud, then I think these headphones will certainly do a great job. Now if you guys are interested in picking these headphones up, I will leave some links for them down below in the video's description. So what do you guys think about wireless headphones? Do you guys use them, and what brands do you use? Leave a comment and let us know. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a like if you found it useful, and if you're not a subscriber, then tap the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys again in the next one.